Hey guys, Mike Martin here. Um, we was on our customer support yesterday and a few people asked, a lot of people are now building these directories because they take you like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to build. This directory has got 233 local businesses all within a radius of one of our central locations. And it probably took about 15, 20 minutes to build and we'll start to rank, as you can imagine, for all of their direct traffic. So we'll nick all the direct traffic, we'll add our own phone number at the top and we'll then sell them the leads back from their own traffic. However, as you all know, schema is super, super, super important when it comes to ranking. All right, now assume, and it's technical, it's difficult to do, and it's a pain in the ass unless you're a coder, okay? So let me just quickly show you, there's no schema on this um, page at all at the minute. So if I just open the structured data testing tool, you will see that there is no local business schema on here. It shouldn't be. Okay, so we've got nothing on there detected, okay? Right, so adding general schema to all these pages is kind of a waste of time, okay? It's kind of no point whatsoever. So this is where the magic comes in. Once we've imported the data from Lead Simplify into our Magic Page plugin, all right, it then gives us tons of shortcodes down here. So check out all these shortcodes. See them all? Yep, these are the ones you get normally, and these are the new ones that we've with the imported data that it's created, okay? So... To add schema, I know I've not filled in all the SEO details and everything on here, but to add the schema, right? So this, this was a plumbing website. So what you do is click on here, and you don't need to do the advanced stuff, okay? The advanced stuff for the guys who want to sit there and build their own code, do all the crazy shit. It still makes it super easy, but you don't need it, all right? Especially not for these type of sites. So we're going to now open the schema builder. So we've got a simple, simple schema builder. We're then going to open the schema builder here. And as you can see, it auto-populates local business, and then it's got all these short codes that will auto populate. So it will pull in the correct longitude, the correct latitude and things like that. You can put in the business opening hours and so on and so forth. But what we want is we actually want the business's individual information pulling in, right? So what we do is this was a plumber. So I'll scroll down and I will look for plumber. I've probably already passed it. You're probably screaming at it saying, why can't you see it? There we go, plumber, right? So this is a plumber one, right? Business name. So we don't want the site title there. Normally we would if we're doing a location slash keyword because whatever the site title is or whatever the location keyword title is, is going to be, you're probably going to put your meta title in here, I would imagine, or, or your business name and your site title. But for this, because it's a directory, you want their business title. So what we're going to do is see here, company name. So we're going to click on that. I'm going to paste that in there. So that means every single page now is dynamically going to have the businesses company name on okay the at id site underscore url okay so maybe I'd, I, i'm not sure how this would work best because i'm not a schema genius but basically we've got a website down here for this business i don't know whether we're going to want to use ours or their at id so we'll put that in there or address right so we've got the full so in this one i'd probably use you've got address line one two three four category company name description full address Okay, let's see what that does. Let's put the full address in there. Okay. Uh, city. I'm probably just going to leave that as location, to be totally honest. Region, zip, not going to need to change. Country, ISO. Okay, so we're going to want to put the phone number in. Have we got a customer's telephone? Yes, we have. Down here, we've got a link for that. So what we're going to do is paste that in. Um, I don't think we pulled in their email details. We didn't. So just to have some in there, I'm going to put that in. Um site urls there's logo we're going to use the image for that seo image right you're going to put in a price range we don't pull in short codes for that but let's say we're just going to say uh 52 an hour okay some crap like that meta description um i think we had a specific description tab in here somewhere there we go what's that i don't know what that's going to show guys we're going to see all that in a minute paste that in there um and we might have, look at that, we've got a maps URL as well. So we're going to pull in the maps URL and replace, replace that with that. Latitude and longitude can, let me just see if we brought that in. I honestly don't know if we did because I'm doing this on the fly. <laughs> so we will see. I'm just going to check that out in a minute. Um, and then obviously if you want to do the opening hours, depends what type of business you're in. You can have different ranges and all the rest of that. Let's just do one range for today and just say that they're open nine to five monday to friday okay obviously you can do three ranges five ranges whatever you want to do if you want to swap and change all these about uh social media links i'm not going to bother doing all that crap okay so 
we've just gone through that. I'm going to click up update. I don't know if I have the save button down here. There isn't. Nope. Okay. Okay. So you've seen the page I showed you before. Didn't have any schema on it. Okay. Now, obviously, there might be a few little, a little, um, little bugs and shit. What I've done wrong, simply because <laughs> I've just done it on the fly because you guys asked for it. Right. So about town plumbing, I'm going to check out first. So what we should find, if this works correctly, if we go to SEO Quake, diagnose, scroll down to the schema, right? We've got a tick on the schema now, which means it's got schema. Now, don't forget, you can import 10,000 businesses if you want. You don't just have to import one business. Okay, you can import 10,000 businesses in, 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 at the same speed you can import 50 businesses. Okay, this is 233. I'm assuming that's to do with the image. Okay, so we've not got an image, but we've not got any problems here. So we've got type plumber at ID about time plumbing.co.uk price range. So we've got the URL about time plumbing has map. We've got their Google Maps URL there. Okay, email, we've just put about Town Plumbing. We've got the name of the business, About Town Plumbing. We've got their phone number. We've got their full address. Okay. Additional location, we've got About Town Plumbing, England, M320H, HF. Okay, so the postcode has pulled in. I didn't make any changes on them three, if you remember. So that one probably needs changing to address line one or something like that from what we did. Opening hours. That Monday at Friday night at five, geolocation data, and obviously you add an image, we use the SEO image. So now let's go back over to this. Let's scroll down the page and look for Pearson Plumbing. Guys, this does it for every single business dynamically, right? Instantly. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> One second. Um, I've noticed that whenever I swear on a video, YouTube puts it into a funny thing now so that people, um, it's not child friendly. So they must listen to them. Uh, yeah, look at this. So we've got here, plumber. Okay, we mustn't have a, a URL for this, so it's pulled in our URL. Price range 50 to 500. It's got their HazMap URL, the CID or whatever you call it. Pearson Plumbing, their phone number. Postal address, 71 Manly Road, blah, blah, blah. It's got their, their postcode here, their region. Um, but you've got their full address opening hours, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, every single business, and this is a 233 page business, we've got their own unique um, schema on every single page. Um, and as you all know, if you know anything about SEO, schema is getting more and more and more important. So this shit's fucking awesome because we can do some really cool stuff now. Um, and again, different URL, Radcliffe Plumbing, there's their full address, postcode England, Ra Ra Rawcliffe, I think it is, sorry, 32 Rawcliffe Street, Rushall, Manchester, opening hours, they've all got their own unique schema on every single page. Now, if you want to get rid of that plum, uh, that um, image error that we've had on all them that I've just shown you, you, scroll down and there's a thing down the bottom here that says SEO image. Choose a file, import the image, any image you want. I just uh, do your um, thingy logo for your, for your directory and you're done. Every single one of them pages now has unique schema for every single one of these businesses, every single one of them. Now, if you're using the new magic page that's coming out in a few days, you're going to be able to push all these to posts or pages. So every single one of these will have their own internal link linked silo between them all, plus they will all have their own individual unique schema for every single business that you've exported from Lead Simplify. And then after you've done that, you're then in a situation where you can uh, push them to pages or push them to posts so they're static, and then come back to the magic page, delete their page that you've just done with them guys, and recreate a magic page for your keyword slash location. So it'll be plumber in Manchester, plumber in Liverpool, plumber in Leeds, and so on and so forth. So what you're going to be able to do is generate tons and tons of traffic from all their direct business, uh, for their direct traffic and steal all that for your business. Plus, you're going to be able to use keyword location and rank for all them. And let's say we're targeting Manchester within a 10 mile radius. You're going to have every single business, every single other plumber within a 10 mile radius of Manchester. So you're going to be stealing lots of their direct traffic and they're all going to have their own individual schema and everything added on there for you. And you're going to have keyword slash location for every single area within, say, a 10 mile radius of Manchester, meaning you're going to have to absolutely fucking smash it.
Okay, guys, hope that helps. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.